Welcome back, mathematicians, to the fun, fabulous, and fantastic world of bar modeling. In tonight's problem, we are dealing with two very serious performers, and we need a little bit of your help to figure out what they need to do. For a challenge, you can pause the video right now, read the problem, and try and figure out the bar model on your own, and then play the rest of the video to see if you got a similar bar model and the correct answer. Here we go. Sage and Darren were looking for a studio to film two music videos and record three songs. The total cost was $2,821. The cost of recording one song was half of the cost of filming a music video. What was the cost of filming one music video? Woo, there's a lot of information in this problem. Here's what we know. The total cost was $2,000. $821. So here's my starting line. And for my bracket, I know I need $2,821. That's my total. So that's going to go for the bracket. The other piece of information that we know is that they want to film music videos and songs. So believe it or not, those are my labels. Here's music video, MV for music video, and S for song. Okay. Here's the other piece of information that we can use. The cost of recording one song is equal to half of the cost of filming a music video. So if I draw a music video that looks like this and I divide it in half, one of those halves is equal to a song. So let's read that sentence again and make sure that my bar model matches. One song is equal to half of the cost of filming a music video. Does that look right, the bar model? The song is half of a music video? It does. But here's what we need to go back now into the first sentence. Sage and Darren didn't just want to record one music video, and remember this was equal to one music video. They wanted to film two music videos, so we're gonna have to double this. So now, we have a second music video. But how many songs did they want to record? They wanted to record three songs. Friends, the most important piece of information here is that the boxes have to be the same size. It's really important because now we want to make sure, do we have three songs? Okay, here's one song, two songs, three songs, one music video, even though we had to divide it in half, two music videos, now we're all set. And since we know our total, here's our total, we can divide the total by the number of boxes we have to find out what each box is worth. So let's count how many boxes we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. And our total was 2,821. So let's try this out. $2,821 divided by seven boxes. Okay, we're gonna do this the concrete algorithm. Two divided by seven is zero. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 400 times 7 is 2,800. We subtract. We have 21. Now we're in the tens place. We have two tens. 2 divided by 7 is 0. Now we're in the ones place. We have 21 ones. 21 divided by 7 is 3. We subtract, and there's no remainder. So our quotient, 403, can go into every single box. Because when we divide the total by the number of boxes, the answer is the value of each and every box. So now, what we need to do is look back to see what our question was. And I always forget to do this at the beginning, but I'm making sure to do it now. What was the cost of one music video? So what I should have done is drawn a bracket to show that I was looking for one music video and put the question mark right there. So one music video will be 403 times two because two boxes was equal to one music video. Three times two is six, two times zero is zero, Four times two is eight. Full sentence. The cost of one music video is $806. How many times, the real question is though, how many times did Sage and Darren dab combined? <laughs> 